Assalamualaikum. My name is Widi Mutakin. I am an entrepreneur and also a lecturer in computer graphics disciplines. I teach 3D and 2D animations, web designs, motion graphics, game development, and other computer graphics related disciplines. I've been using and teaching 3ds Max for over two decades now. In this online course, you're going to learn the essentials of using 3ds Max and then focus on the critical techniques of 3D modeling. This course is designed for complete beginners. So if you have never used 3ds Max before, don't worry because this course is for you. The curriculum is carefully designed so you can master 3ds Max quickly and seamlessly. There are a total of 9 chapters in this course. In the first chapter, you will be introduced to the user interface of 3ds Max. You will learn different ways to navigate the viewport and different ways to utilize the display settings. In the second chapter, you will learn basic object operations such as how to create objects and how to modify them once they are created. You will learn how to select objects, how to transform objects, how to use and manipulate the pivot point, more advanced transformation settings, learn about modifiers, and then finally about object duplication. In the third chapter, you will learn various ways of managing your 3D scene, from basic object management, then learning how to use the scene explorer, Learn how to use and manage layers. Learn about the selection set and also object grouping. Then, starting at the fourth chapter, we are going to shift our focus to 3D modeling. In this chapter, you will learn the power of editable poly modeling techniques. We'll start with the basic modeling operations. Then move on to different sub-object selection techniques step by step from the basic to advanced. Next, We'll cover important modeling concepts such as normal direction and backface calling. After that, you will learn each related modeling techniques, then learn different ways to cut and slice 3D models. Next, you will learn about the surface smoothing group, learn how to close holes, and learn about the hidden technique of edge extrusion. Then, you will learn how to connect two structures using the bridge command and then learn even more various polygonal modeling features. In chapter 5, we'll focus on precision modeling. We'll start with the basics of how 3ds Max uses measurement units. Learn all the nuances of the scale operation. Learn how to reset transformation. Learn how to precisely set the dimension of an object. Learn different snapping features that 3ds Max has to offer. And then learn how to align objects using various tools. Next, in chapter 6, the focus is on a modeling project. We are going to create this kitchen counter product. We'll cover from setting up the references, then modeling the base frame, and then modeling the panels until we have a finished model. In all of these modeling processes, we are going to use a real measurement unit. In the next chapter, which is chapter 7, you'll be introduced to the spline object type. By leveraging spline in your modeling process, you can create more complex shapes quickly and easily if compared to the pure polygonal modeling techniques. You can create the most demanding lines and curves because 3ds Max supports different types of spline vertex. In this chapter, you'll be given exercises to strengthen your spline editing skill. You will learn how to manipulate spline objects such as adding and deleting spline vertices and many other spline modification techniques such as fillet, chamfer, and outline. Then, we'll discuss 2D boolean operations, and then more techniques for quickly cleaning up messy intersecting splines. After that, you're going to start learning different techniques to convert the spline objects into 3D models. You will learn about the extrude modifier, then the late modifier, and then the bevel profile modifier. In Chapter 8, you will learn the basics of creating smooth organic 3D models using the subdivision techniques. We will cover the most important concepts around subdivision modeling, such as when to use and when not to use non-quad polygons. Learn how to fix bad topology results from concave and gons. Then we will cover the modeling techniques using compound objects, such as using the Pro-Boolean feature. 
and then learn how to deform an object to follow the surface of another object using the conform feature. This course is loaded with so many hands-on projects, challenges, and exercises that are designed to improve your skills gradually and push them to their fullest potential. Most of the projects in this course are based on real-world products. First, you will model this table lamp product called Oluche Atolo. Then, you will create this tool product called Temtem. Then, you will learn how to create this unique side table called Etna. Then, learn to model another table called Lag. After that, you will create this kitchen counter product called Work. Next, by using the spline modeling techniques, you will create this S letter type logo. Then learn how to efficiently model this circular ornament. And then learn how to model any type of tileable 3D pattern while creating this wall ornament. Then, you will learn how to create this vase called ashes. Learn how to create interior details by creating this crown molding. Then learn how to create this table lamp. And you will learn how to easily model this Roman column. Starting at chapter 8, we will model this teacup object and then this wash basin object. After that, we will create this stool product. And finally, in the last chapter, we will model this chair product using the techniques we've learned previously in chapter 8. After completing the course, inshallah, you will have a solid foundation on how to use 3ds Max. You will gain a significant amount of 3D modeling skills. And also, you will understand many important concepts around 3D computer graphics. I hope you find this course interesting and beneficial. Wassalamualaikum.